astonishing claims as to what's happening with the Antarctic that is being used to control worldwide weather. And you can see from these images of NASA that Antarctica is turning luminous green because of the nuclear blasts going on there. Shocking claim. Antarctica is a big nuclear launch pad from which scientists control the weather. And you won't believe how they do it, why they're doing it, what happens to our atmosphere. Nuclear weapons have been secretly launched from Antarctica and detonated in our atmosphere by scientists intent on controlling the Earth's weather. And they do this so they can tap into its untold natural resources according to a shocking new documentary. Patrick Christie's of Express UK reports, early August of 1963, a nuclear weapons launch was detected at the South Pole, but there was no fallout, meaning the explosion must have occurred somewhere out in space. The blast was initially denied by American government and military sources, only to be confirmed later on. So what were they doing, lying or were they uh, declaring something that was unknown? The documentary entitled The Real Secrets Hidden in Antarctica Revealed claims the blast could have created a fake aurora and that it manipulated heat around the poles, north and south poles together. This would make the ice melt through global warming so the vast underground resources of the Antarctic ice cap then could be accessed for mining. Antarctica is currently occupied by teams of scientists from different nations and under the Antarctic Treaty, they must all share scientific discoveries with other nations. But the film has a hypothesis and their theory is that the nuclear explosions in space designed to melt Antarctic could unlock untold riches for nations operating these scientific bases in the frozen landscape. Scientists say that the Lake Vostok is a prime example of Antarctica's potential. The lake, 160 miles long and 20 miles wide, is 2,600 feet deep and it contains life forms and bacteria that have remained untouched for thousands of years but it also unearthed the Antarctic used to be a tropical paradise. This means resources such as coal and oil could be buried deep in that ice cap and can provide an incentive for superpowers to want the landmass thawed. If we go back to Admiral Byrd, he did confirm that there are tremendous resources to be found in Antarctica. The documentary narrator produced by Illuminati said, quote, weather is made and controlled at the South Pole. Weather is made and controlled at the South Pole, which is frightening. And he goes on to say, scientists have discussed how weather is made and controlled there, end quote. Scientists such as Harry Wexler wrote, quote, on the possibility of climate control, end quote, back in 1962. He visited Antarctica and were, that was known to be looking into ways to manipulate the weather. This was back in 1962. Setting off nuclear bombs in space can also cover the Earth in a radioactive sheen, and this can be used to block radio waves and other forms of communication. It's like um, an EMP device, either from outer space or from an enemy country during a time of war. Now, what happens is the film finishes, it concludes with a comment from the narrator saying, quote, support for international scientific research trumps everything else, and it provides the ultimate cover for providing an off-limits continent, Antarctica that is, one and a half times the size of the U.S. where black ops work can take place, end quote. Well, that makes sense, doesn't it? Call it scientific research. Everybody is off-limits. It's off-limits to everybody. And uh, that's where you can do whatever you want without anybody finding out. This is by Express UK. I'll leave a link below for you for this.